na mambo yanaanza hivi sasa na kabla ya mechi kwanza huwa ni maandalizi uh, Mwanahabari wetu hapa Kevin Kimathi ametembelea katika ile kambi ya klabu ya Gor Mahia mapema leo ili kuangalia je kweli maneno wanayosema na vitendo vao itakuwa ni namna gani amekwenda kuangalia namna wanavojiandaa katika mechi ya madebi hili kati yao dhidi ya FC Leopards Kevin Kimathi Licha ya changamoto za mrundiko wa mechi na majeraha kwa baadhi ya wachezaji wake, mkufunzi wa mabingwa wa tetezi wa ligi kuu nchini Gormaya Hassan Okte anaimani kwamba vijana wake wamejiandaa vya kutosha wapo Ngangari na tayari kupata ushindi dhidi ya FC Leopards katika mechi ya ligi kuu ya taifa ambayo itachezwa ugani kasarani siku ya Jumamosi. A lot of competitive games and I always saying uh, everyone a goal is target is high and uh, we have to we have to focus our target as we're focusing we're playing a lot of games and concentration is there at the moment uh, moral is there i know it's difficult i know this difficulty traveling and playing same time and uh, you you go to uh, confederation cup and a big massive game after after you you come you play local games and to find the balance sometimes is not easy but we we have to do it it's our job it's local derby is is different it's not forms teams it's not you know it's something else uh, uh, local derbies and what we find the rhythm we find our rhythm and start players they start to believing themselves we, we they know what to do they know what i want from them and at the moment uh, we had a good gel between each me and the players and coaching staff uh, moral is there we won a few games back to back uh, to win against zamalek is not easy <laughs> and i'm proud of my boys and uh, i know it's going to be a difficult game tomorrow it's, it's going to be a hard game but we are ready we have to take every game, step by step, one game each. Uh, in here, what I see, people is jumping a lot. We have, we have to find the balance. We have some illnesses today. We have some injuries. We have uh, derby tomorrow. Then we have uh, Confederation Cup Wednesday. We need a bit of time. Slowly, slowly, we're moving good direction. And I always tell everyone, we can only get better. We can only get better. Wakati huo huo mkufuzi Hassan Okte amemimini ya sifa mshambulizi Dennis Oliecha mbae tayari ameifungia timu hii mambao mane bada ya kujiunga na kogalo mezi michache iliopita. Great, great leadership. He helping us a lot. He helping the boys a lot. Boys a lot. And he's a professional guy. And sometimes you need to protect this kind of players as well. Uh, he's he's 31, 32. He's got he's got a few years back. You know he can play up to 20, 35, 36 if he can look after his body, which is he's, he's doing it. And uh, I need to protect protect him. He's gonna come on. He's gonna start. He's gonna he's gonna come on later on. Uh, depends his body as well. We work together. This kind of stuff. He knows the local derby games very well. And I don't put him in any pressure, no pressure to my players. He can start, maybe he can start, maybe he comes on. And I know he's ready for everything. I said it, I gave him one one uh, games, I said to him, 45 minutes, I'm going to get you off. Then I said to him after the half time, you're going to play for me 90 minutes. And he was ready. You are poor Basi, what a funny cure, Kubato Shindi, TDFC Leopard, Hapo Kesho, Itaweka, Karigana Fasinzuri Zaidi, Akweza Kutete, Bingo, Waligiku, Yataifa, Kevin Kimathi, KTN, Michezo. Nam Amezungum Zahasan Okte, Munyewe, Akisema Kwamba Mechi ni Ningi. Ijapokuwa wamejipanga vizuri kabla jumatano kuenda kucheza kombe la mashirikisho kwanza lazima kazi waifunge kesho katika ile mechi ya debi na baada kutoka kwake Hassan Oktai twende katika upande wa klabu ya FC Leopards ambapo kuna kamati imeundwa kwa ajili ya kutafuta suluhu la matatizo ya ingwe kwa wakati huu sasa hebu tupate kuwasikiza kwa makini kamati ile imependekeza nini na je itakuwa ni suluhisho la ingwe nao kuanza kupata matokeo mazuri 
The remedial measures uh, will be executed by an all-inclusive committee dubbed the AFC Leopards Rescue Team with a two-month mandate. Among the objectives of the committee are, one, to stabilize the club in terms of performance on and off the pitch. Two, to investigate, ascertain the problems ailing the club and give solutions. Three, sourcing for funds to aid in the operations of the club. And finally, to give technical support to both the technical bench and the players. And after today's meeting, I'm confident that uh, we'll be able to look at all the issues that have been, uh, you know, troubling the club, the entire, you know, spectrum of issues that have been laid out throughout this meeting. And because of the great leadership and maturity that all of the members sitting here have displayed, people with a great history of this club and who are concerned and are really, have been really troubled, have been able to come together, I know that things will be good. Nam ndivo mambo yalivyo wamezungumza lepa za maingwe chui hawa kwamba wataweka kamati ya kutafuta suluhisho. Tuyaache hayo. Kwa sasa tuangalie sasa hivi takwimu ya mambo yatakavyokuwa wikendi hii lakini sisi tutazingatia zaidi debi hili la ingwe uh, na dhidi ya Gormahia. Na kama tunavyojua uh, kulingana na mechi za kesho Gormahia dhidi ya FC Lepers lakini kwa sasa tunataka kuangalia uh, mechi za Gormahia tano zilizopita. Kwa sababu kabla kwenda katika mechi hii e, tuangalie matokeo yao Gormahia e, walipata ushindi wa mabao mawili kwa moja dhidi ya Posta Rangers na Gormahia tena wakachezi wakainyeshea Mount Kenya mabao manne kwa moja lakini Gor hapa waliteleza wakapigwa kibao kimoja na KCB kilichoatia uchungu kweli kweli uh, kisha lakini kabla hapo Gormahia wakaitandika Sony na mechi ile ya tano Gormahia waliandikisha ushindi wa bao moja kwa nunge dhidi ya klabu ya Vihiga tuangalie mechi zao tano zinazokuja kabla ya uh, yani baada ya mechi hii ya FC Leopards Gormahia baada ya Ingwe Jaro Soja nataka uangalie huku itakuwa mnacheza na Sofa Paka mkitoka kwa Sofa Paka mtakuwa mnakwenda kwa Western Stima mkimalizana na Western Stima mtakuwa mnakwenda kwa Tasca baada ya Tasca mtaitembelea ulinzi hizi mechi zitakuwa ngumu kweli kweli hizi point 3 3 mpaka mwisho unahakika kuna ulinzi pale kuna Tasca kuna Western Stima hizo ni point 12 point <laughs> sawa sawa na sasa hivi twende katika ukurasa wa ingwe ama FC Leopards tuangalie FC Leopards mechi zake tano zilizopita hawajakuwa wakifanya vizuri ndio tunataka kuwauliza maswali hayo watupatie majibu walichapwa na KCB katika mechi yao ya mwisho na katika mechi nyingine dhidi ya Chemelil wali, walipata ushindi Leopards alafu wakachezea kichapo walipoitembelea Zukiricho nayo bandari ikawanyeshea mabao manne kwa moja Leopards kabla ya kufungwa tena na Mount Kenya mabao mawili kwa moja hii Mount Kenya hii imeanza aibu ndogo ndogo baada ya Melis Medo kuichukua imemfunga Mathare na imemchapa FC Leopard sasa tuangalie Mashemegi Debi shaona gor dhidi ya Leopards kuanzia mwaka wa 2016 nani amemtambia mwenzake itakuwa vizuri sana iwapo tutapata kuangalia kutoka mwaka wa 2016 eh, rekodi ile ya Debi tangu mwaka huo mwaka wa 2016 Leopards ilichapwa katika mechi ya kwanza dhidi ya Gor na wakapigwa tena mabao mawili kwa nunge ule ni mwaka 2016 twende zetu mwaka 2017 ilikuwaje mwaka 2017 Gor Mahia aliendelea kuchezesha kichapo chake kwa Lepers eh, bao moja kwa nunge katika mechi ya kwanza alafu walipokwenda ugenini eh, Lepers nao wakamfunga Gor Mahia mwaka 2017 twende kwa mwaka 2018 ambapo Lepers ilichapwa mabao mawili kwa moja kisha katika mechi ya pili Lepers ikachapwa tena mabao mawili bila jibu alafu kuna lile kombe la Sufa, eh, so, eh, Super Cup eh, Lepers pia walifungwa tena kwa hiyo tuje katika maswali sasa kwa sababu naona ya kwamba katika miaka mitatu hii hili swali linakwenda kwa marafiki zangu wa Ingwe ama Lepers eh, kutoka mwaka 2016 hadi mwaka 2018 sasa tumeingia mwaka 2019 mmekiwa mkitambiwa sana tukikumbuka debi zile za zamani zilikuwa zinawasha lepers hawakamatiki yani akifunga gormahia mechi jayo anawekwa wapi kulikwenda yani songo mbingo ilitokea wapi mpaka mmepoteza makali yenu sasa hamutambi hamuvumi hatuwezi tukasema kuwa tutambi na tuvumi mm. <laughs> bado tuko pale manake ukiangalia ushindi ambao umekuwa ni labda tu bao moja au bao mbili haijakuwa kichapo ambacho unaweza sema ni cha aibu 
Alafu pia mechi zimekuwa mingi sababu ya majubu kumu mengine ya klabu uh -huh. uh, kulingana na mambo mengine labda ya ufadhili na yale. Zikiwa mingi hivyo sana wakati mwingine Ratba ineza lemea timu sana. Uh -huh. Lakini kusema ukweli ukiangalia pale statistically Leopards ndio walio inyamazisha Gormaya walipokuwa na jitanua kifua atieti wawa kwa unbeaten. Tuli, tuli wanyamazisha. Uh -huh. Alafu kutoka pale Gormaya wamekuwa na bit of stability kwa playing unit yao uh -huh. kutushinda. Maonake pia uwa wakati ambao wamekuwa kishinda tumekuwa na leadership wrangles. Sasa hivi ndio tumeanza kutulia kidogo kabla tena ya uh, mbwe mbwe zingine kutokea jana ambazo kama ningepata nafasi ya kuongea labda si kwa hiki kikao mm -hmm. ningeweza kukosoa mambo mengi ambayo yamefanywa nje ya katiba mimi kama mwanachama wa Leopards mm -hmm. ambaye anaelewa lakini kwa mechi hii ambayo inakuja kesho, kesho mm -hmm. um kuwa tumekuwa na so many away games mechi mingi ugeni ukiangalia pale kwa mechi tano ambazo zimeisha Dio. Leopards wamekuwa mechi nne za ugeni nje okay. tena kuna hii ya tano Dio. tunaenda ugenini kwa gor Definitely your mental strength inaweza potea kidogo. Mm. Sababu usafiri umekuwa Mombasa, Kisumu, wapi wapi, mm -hmm. au unapata kuwa timu inaweza choka kidogo. Ndiyo. Lakini hapa sababu ni debi na timu ya safari sana, hapa, tunaingia hapa katika mechi hii uh -huh. na roho juu. Uh -huh. Tutataka jama vijana wetu waingie pale uh, vile tunasema mundu humundu, washike wa wakabe, uh -huh. waweke watu manual wa mkone yani tutoke pale kama tumeacha nafasi na heshima kwa uwanja atajibu mashambulizi hayo counter attack hiyo kasha sema ile kesho watawashangaza eti e, jaro vile ambavyo hamkamatiki kwa sasa hivi juzi mlitufurahisha mkamtandika zamalik hawakuamini wazee wala watoto hiyo ndio sisi kesho mnaenda kufanya mambo gani pale ingwe jambo ambao wanaijua wana, kabisa ni ku recruit coaches kuliko players Unanipata? Nakupata. Ingwe shida la pili kwa ingwe wanafanyia gore mazoezi. Gore kufunga home mm -hmm. na wewe hizo ni pointi ngapi? Sita. Utaenda nyasi. Ingwe wako na siasa mingi mm -hmm. kwa unajua siasa by the way, siasa za ofisi kwa club. Mm -hmm. Inafanya club ina ginene. Ina inangocha? Ina digni. Mm. Ina digni. Yaani ina didi eh? Didimia. Didimia. <laughs> so siasa mingi kwa club. <laughs> Watu wachana nayo. Ndio. Waangalie evinye wanajenga club yao vinye tumejenga serikali. Ndio. Unajua Gor. Mm. Gor kuna wakati jamaa alikutana na mimi nikiwa na hiyo moto kedi yangu. Ananiambia mm. Jaro kidogo. Mm. Mm -hmm. Naomba muongee na wajumbe wa Kenya wabadilise katiba Gor ikue national team. Mm. Yes. Unataka <laughs> kwenda uh, Cup of Nation? Yeah. Yuni hata jambo hapa nadhani na, na, na hata rais ana, anatamani sana. Mm. Kwa sababu <laughs> Gor ikishika kandanda hivi mm -hmm. kila mtu basi anamka. Nakumbuka tulikuwa tunacheza na gine Everton kule da. Ndio. Wakenya wote mhm mm match yao ilikuwa naangalia gor. Si uongo au masimeji kama nimesema uongo waseme ni uongo. Kombe lile la juzi. Tena ishi mwaka jana si Everton si la juzi. Unakumbuka Runi alitweet ya kwamba atacheza sijii dakika sijii gine ne dakika sijii 45 sijii eh lakini ali, ali sweat mpaka alisi kumbe runi pia anasikia kijaluo tukaanza kuimba ongenga maruno selo yo eh. kumbe anasikia kijaluo ndio kaweka bao lakini baada ya kusweat jaro eh. na tukikumbuka vizuri sana pamoja na wale wenzangu wa lepers zamani miaka kumi iliyopita miaka saba iliyopita unapotaja debi atakuja daktari mm -hmm. atakuja mwalimu mm -hmm. atakuja karani atakuja watu wa aina mawaziri kila mmoja kuja kutazama mechi lakini katika miaka ya hivi karibuni baadhi ya mashabiki hao wameanza kujiondoa na wanaokuja zaidi wengine wale wana labda wanaleta rafsha watu wanaogopa sasa hivi tukienda kutazama mashemeji badala tupate burudani kisha baadaye kutakuwa na songo mbigo zingine ama kutakuwa na vurugu kwa nini utamu umepotelea wapi opera ni kitu ambayo inaleta urafiki opera opera ifai ifanye watu watengane <coughs> Opera ni dakika 90 uh -huh. Rochiko. Kwa hivyo baada ya dakika 90 tisini nakumbuka kuna mababu zetu walikuwa wanatuambia story ya Gormen mm. FC. Ati ndio ni masemeji wetu. Uh -huh. Wetu wengi wetu wamewa watu kutoka wasichana kutoka West Ham. Ati sasa ni dakika eh, Gori kijasa na FC uh -huh. unapatia ye off kidogo uh -huh. mpaka dakika 90 ishe. Uh -huh. Baada ya dakika 90 mnarudiana pamoja. Naona. <laughs> Lakini <laughs> 
Lakini nataka tuseme hivi. Eh. Mtu ambayo atakuja na njia ya kuleta fujo basi huyu apende mpira. Ah ndio. Iwe ni Gor ama FC Leopards. Mm -hmm. Tu 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 tuangalie tu vinye tunajenga vilabu zetu kabisa tuweke kwa hali ya juu mm, kwa sababu eh, ma sponsors pia unajua <laughs> tunatarajia ma sponsors wengi Ndiyo. lakini unataka ku, kuangalia mm. mna behave namna gani kwa kiwanja mm -hmm. kwa hivyo tunaomba masemeji mm -hmm. wakubali matokeo kesho waja of late wamekataa sana kubali makoteo ma, magine ma, matoke, ma, makote, matokeo ma, matokeo nitakaporudi yeah. mtakuwa mnajibu hilo swali kwa roho safi na pia tujaribu kuangalia baadhi ya zile tamaduni eh, tamaduni za mechi hizi za ma, debi la mashemeji tutakuwa tunazungumzia kuhusiana na tamaduni kwa nini siku hizi zimeisha utamu na kesho utarejesha utamu kama ule mashabiki watajitokeza kwa wingi ama wengine wataogopa rabsha na gasia usiende popote zilizala viwanjani itaendelea nipo nao mashabiki wa klabu ya Gor Mahia Kogalo na vile vile AFC Lepers ingwe naitwa Ahmed Bahaji hii Zilizala viwanjani.